have you ever considered how climate change could be affecting your mental health? It's a global concern that's been making waves in the realm of public health. It's not just about the melting glaciers or the rising sea levels. It's our minds, our emotions, and our well-being. Communities around the world, farmers, youngsters, indigenous tribes, they're all feeling the distress. It's not just a sense of loss or worry about the future. It's a profound impact that's leading to increased rates of addiction and other mental health issues among these vulnerable populations. The changing weather patterns, the unpredictable seasons, the increasing intensity of natural disasters, they're all compounding the mental strain and leaving deep psychological scars. Climate change doesn't just change our environment, it changes us too. Let's delve into some real life stories that demonstrate the emotional toll of climate change. Imagine being a farmer, your livelihood dependent on the whims of the weather. Now, picture the weather becoming increasingly unpredictable, your crops failing and your income dwindling. This is the reality for many farmers around the globe, leading to mounting anxiety and despair. One farmer from the heartland of America shares his story. The uncertainty is overwhelming. It's like a dark cloud that never lifts. You feel so powerless. Then consider the youth, the ones inheriting a planet ravaged by climate change. Take a moment to hear the story of a 16-year-old climate activist from Australia. We are scared, she says. Scared for our future, scared for our planet. We're angry too, at the generations before us who let this happen. It's a heavy burden to bear. Finally, let's turn our attention to indigenous communities who are often on the front lines of climate change. An elder from a Canadian First Nations tribe shares his experience. We're seeing our ancestral lands erode away, our traditional ways of life threatened. It's more than just losing land, it's losing our identity. The grief is immense, and it leads some of our young people down dark paths. These stories highlight the feelings of anxiety, depression, and hopelessness that are becoming all too common as climate change continues to impact our mental health. From farmers to youth to indigenous communities, no one is immune. But it's important to remember that these are not just stories of despair. They're also stories of resilience and hope. They're stories of individuals and communities rallying together, pushing for change, and finding ways to support each other in these challenging times. These stories are not isolated incidents. They are a reflection of a growing global crisis. We cannot ignore the urgency of addressing the mental health impacts of climate change. As the world warms, so too does the pressure on our collective psyche, and the most vulnerable among us are feeling it the most. It's high time that governments and public health leaders step up to the plate. They must prioritize understanding and addressing the mental health impacts of climate change. Consider this, what if we incorporated climate-related mental health impacts into health insurance? That's right, ensuring that those affected by the mental toll of climate change can access the care they need without incurring crippling costs. And let's not forget about the job market. The devastating effects of climate change can leave people jobless and in despair. We need to support these individuals, helping them find their footing in a changing world. This is not an insurmountable task. It's about shifting our focus, allocating resources, and making mental health a key part of our climate change strategy. Because the future of our planet is not just about saving trees and reducing carbon emissions, it's also about safeguarding the mental well-being of its inhabitants. It's time we start taking action because the cost of inaction is too great. Addressing this crisis requires collaboration and learning from diverse perspectives. As we navigate the storms of climate change and its impact on mental health, we need to harness the wisdom of our ancestors and learn from the experiences of diverse communities. We need to listen to the voices of the farmers who are battling addiction, the indigenous communities grappling with suicide, and the youth who are facing anxiety and despair. We need to understand their resilience, their coping mechanisms, and their unique solutions. By doing so, we can develop effective strategies that are grounded in empathy, inclusivity, and respect for our shared humanity. We invite you to get involved, to lend your voice, your ideas, your passion, because it's not just about confronting the crisis, it's about creating a world where every individual feels supported, understood, and empowered. Remember, change begins with a single step and every voice matters. Together we can build a supportive and resilient community.